It's the first day of harvest at Napa Valley College. In the heart of wine country, these community college students are picking about 1,500 pounds of grapes. Grapes that they'll next learn how to turn into a wine sold at Whole Foods. Our program is the, is the backbone of the wine industry. They're taking our students faster than we can create them. I mean, I have more job requests coming across my desk than I do students to fill them. So we've got our different Chardonnay cones. Those are getting pretty right. 22, 21.5, what's converted to practice? Paul Gospodarczyk runs the Viticulture and Winery Technology Program at Napa Valley College. Named a 40 under 40 case maker by Wine Enthusiast Magazine, he's leading the next generation of winemakers at a program that's grown to be the largest in the world. We're gonna have a macro bin right here, so it's gonna get a stem and crush into the macro. Almost all of our students are already working in the wine industry, and it makes teaching an absolute thrill because everyone is coming in with first-hand experience of all the winemaking approaches that I'm talking about, of the chemistry that we're talking about, and it just makes for a really dynamic environment. There's three strands really of study that, that have made the, the institution pretty famous. One is viticulture, working in the vines. The second is really winemaking and all the technology that goes into that. And the third is wine sales and marketing, how to sell it, how to bottle it, how to brand it. For Felipe Silva, the program offered him a path to his dream of someday owning his own wine label. A dream born in fields just like this one. Basically, my whole family has been working in the uh, fields for most of their life. I'm um, coming from Mexico. Growing up, I was kind of just exposed to the industry. I was going out working on weekends with my dad, uncles, other family members. And as the years kind of went by, I just started uh, growing this interest in the industry. So this is, have you seen this before? Yeah. Like the real, the true botrytis. This mm -hmm. is, all the gray stuff is the mycelium of the fungus. The, it's like the fruiting body. I am passionate about really bringing the, the managerial side of the wine industry um, uh, to you young happen? people from Napa, right? Who have grown up here, who have seen this whole industry their whole lives and not, not really been a part of it and not really understood what's going on and now they come here all of a sudden are connecting all of these dots with like oh that is what is going on that's what that was and you see people connecting the dots about what they've basically been exposed to their entire lives at the community college level you know our goal is to really serve the community so napa is ground zero if you will for all of wine and it makes great sense if we were in detroit we would probably be in a car manufacturing plant right now but here, um, it's, the, it's our role really to prepare the workers for the entire county. You'll find more than half a dozen types of grapes on this five acre student vineyard at Napa Valley College. Wines produced from these grapes are well respected, with some scoring above 90 points in the Wine Advocate. Napa is an ideal place for grape growing. We're very lucky to have this program here. There are very few winemaking programs across the United States. Peggy Boyle already has a bachelor's degree and experience in the wine industry. She took almost two decades off work to raise her children. Now she's at Napa Valley College refreshing her skills. The quality of education here is equal to that that you'll get anywhere. Joe Zawalk retired from the U.S. Coast Guard and looked to the community college to see if he could turn his love of wine into a second career. Being on the consumer end of it for so long, I often wondered what happens behind the scenes with the winemaking and to back it up, getting the grapes into the winery and processing them. So it's a lot more complicated and it takes a lot longer than I originally thought. Look at that. If, you, if I touch it, you can see the spores release. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see that? I wish more people knew how amazing our students were. Paul says he's impressed every day by his students. Those who work all day in the fields or at a winery, then attend his classes at night or those learning a new trade for the very first time. My highest aspiration, my highest professional aspiration is to be right here doing this job. And most of my teacher colleagues here are the exact same way. This wasn't a fallback job. This is the job that we want. We love being teachers and we love our discipline. And the fact that we can do both of those with these amazing students is just, we're pretty lucky.